Hello again, my name's Anna Schmidt and I am a house healer, a paranormal clearing specialist and a psychic development teacher. And today I'd like to talk with you about using soft talk. Why is soft talk important? What are some of the benefits that you can get from using soft talk every day? So let's get into it. What are the benefits? and challenges of using self-talk. So do you find that you actually use self-talk every day and you don't actually realize that you're doing it? Do you say things out loud so that you understand them, so that you can follow a direction that you are going in? I have found uh, most of my life that self-talk is so important to understand what is going on in my mind because there's so there's so much monkey chatter that goes on in our minds all day long that it's hard to discern what is the important information what is the sabotaging information what is the stuff that we really just don't need so I have learnt that if I need to work out the planning for a project or to understand the process for something or just to hear as a life coach I'm going to digress here slightly as a life coach I talk to my clients as well about using self-talk because you are hearing what you need to do or what you're actually thinking like I said before when it's all in here you can't discern it between all the other stuff that is in our minds when you say things out loud you hear it goes from here back into your ears again your brain can process it cleanly without all the distractions and by having that little conversation with yourself about a particular situation or something that's going on that you need an answer to you actually find through all the talk that you do the answer is there this is why I thought it was important to do a talk about using self-talk because I have found it to be a really helpful tool over the last 30 to 40 years and I, I just use it all the time for lots of things for, for small things big things for anything to help me learn how to use or to do a new process I talk myself through the process because it's like having it's like having a helper there as well and they're just saying management's just saying that your guides will chip in with information and some people are very verbal with their information some people will hear it in their heads I will actually channel my information through speech I will sometimes hear it in my head but it makes more sense and it's more relevant and I understand it more if I say it now this isn't going to be the case for everyone but people often say to me why do you talk to yourself all the time I say because it is a really powerful tool to understand what you need uh, to manifest what you need to hear what you need clearly amongst all the jibber jabber that's in our head all day long so how can you practice using self-talk now if you're a little bit conscious or a little bit subconscious of doing this around other people do it at home first you're struggling through a recipe or you're struggling through building something or, or you're trying to mend something and you're just really stuck say to yourself what are the tools I need to do this and as you're saying it you might see little pictures in your mind in your third eye your guides will be giving you assistance so using that verbal ask which creates a vibration you are manifesting a request for assistance and if you're ready and open to receiving it you are going to get that information clearly and it will help you work out what you need to do so another thing that you can use your self-talk for is to give yourself encouragement to keep going because as much as other people will discourage you with their words you can encourage yourself to keep going with something I need to find I just need to find the answer how am I going to get this done I think I might give that a go yeah that looks like that will work with this you're creating understanding by saying I know I keep repeating that but I find it's really important a lot of the time management is just saying people will understand something if they write 
by hand. It is that brain-hand connection that you're then looking at the words written on paper. If you're a writer, that will work for you. If you're a talker and you understand through saying, that is what is going to work for you. And I've said to my kids, don't feel embarrassed if you need to talk yourself through a process. You're at work and you just, there's no one around to ask. You know, you feel a bit stuck, just talk yourself through the process. It can be out loud or it can be a quiet whisper where you're just going, yeah, I need to get that done. So you can use that in the office, all right? You can use that at home. So it's really important to keep yourself on track by using self-talk as a possible helper. When you're stuck and there's no one else around, I've found over the years that I get things done way quicker when I say them out loud. I understand the process. As much as being a life coach and I work with people to write lists, having lists and getting stuff out of your brain and on paper is a really good way of knowing what you need to do, having a routine, getting things done. Self-talk is a companion to having lists there that you can do. So you can say, okay, I've just achieved that. Oh, look what a great job I did. I'm so proud of myself. Look, I've just, I've just done a great job of that. You feel really good. There's no one else around to give you encouragement. Sometimes you just need to give yourself encouragement. It's just the way it works. So to use self-talk is as simple as to start practicing it. Choose your situations. If you're subconscious about it, do it at home. Do it in a quiet voice. You know, you're sitting in your cubicle at work and something's not working on the computer. Just have a little conversation with yourself. How can I get this happening? Because your guides are there all the time, ready to chip in, ready to help you with the information. So some of the negative things about self-talk is you may feel like you're going to be judged by others. You need to just get over that. You need to just do it. Just do it. Because what you're doing by doing it is you're actually modelling for other people different processes that they may be able to utilise as well. Remember, we're all the teacher and we're all the student. We are teaching each other all the time. We are learning from each other all the time. This is why I talk about things that are a little bit left of field. Because a lot of people I know won't talk about them. Um, they're too embarrassed or they're worried about people going to judge them. I just, I just do it anyway. I've just learned, you know what, you just do it. Because you're inspiring others to think how that process might be useful for them as well. So just get over the judgment. Write lists if you need to. Um, to help you with your self-talk. Do a recording, management. This is something I haven't thought of before. This is interesting. They've said if you're really struggling with getting a process done and you may have to repeat that process down the track with another project with a similar need, record yourself with your self-talk. If you don't want to write, some people just don't like writing stuff down. They can't be bothered. Record yourself on your phone going, okay, I'm learning how to build a chicken coop. That's my example at the moment. Oh my God, because I'm teaching myself how to do this. So I haven't recorded yet, but I might do that if I need to expand on it with particular uh, techniques that I've learned during the time. So I prefer now to listen to recordings than I do to spend time writing things down. So thank you, management. So this is how awareness and talking about something has given another way that we can use our self-talk is that we can record it use it for future purposes all right so there's some of the things that you can utilize when you're finding that um, you are using your self-talk and they've just chimed in with observe other people when they're using their self-talk you don't have to communicate with them just be around them and understand and just observe what they're using their self-talk for. Remember, we're all the teacher, we're all the student. The only way to work with self-talk is just to practice. Just do it. My kids are so used to me doing it around the house. They used to say to me, Mummy, why are you talking to yourself? I said, because I understand better when I hear the words coming out of my mouth. It helps me focus thank you oh my god this whole video is about focus it takes me so long to get to the point sometimes in the rambling there is the information 
Self-talk is a focal point. This is what I should have started with at the beginning of the video. Self-talk is a focal point for your understanding and your learning. So off you go. Homework is to go and practice and do some self-talk. Get yourself comfortable with it. Right? Listen to your kids. Kids quite often will talk themselves through a process. But people don't take any notice because they're like, oh, they're just children, that's what they do. Why can't we do that as adults? Okay, if it works, use it. And I'm going to go now because the dog next door has just decided to bark right at the end of the video. All right, thank you very much for joining me again. If you like what I do, please subscribe, share, leave me a comment. Do you use self-talk? Does self-talk work for you? Okay. Thank you and goodbye for now. I'll see you soon.